y'all with another video. We're going to be talking about, as you can see in the title, we got Mullen, we got DWAC, we got APE. As you can tell, uh, DWAC is breaking support. APE went below the buying level. We're going to go over BABA, BBIG. So just make sure you stay tuned. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Let's get the video over 100 likes. I really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first one is going to be Mullen. Ticker symbol M-U-L-N. And notice how we had levels on Mullen. The buying level actually broke. And it's tested as a resistance. So now the only level we have left on Mullen is right around 26 cents, which is actually a support level. Okay. It's not a buying level anymore. We don't have a buying level on Mullen. We just have a support, which can actually be good if support holds, because that might mean we're going to start seeing a push to the upper side. It's kind of been holding the support very good, actually. So hopefully we can get that push to the higher side. Still have a resistance of about 34 cents. And I still have a target at about 38 cents, but we really just need that pressure. And right now we're really not getting it. It hasn't moved since like November 4th. So almost two weeks, Mullen really hasn't done anything um, since that big push up and that big rundown. This is also a reason why we never chase prices. It's not needed to be a consistent trader because it just comes down right as fast. And you don't want to be holding a bag of this. You'd rather not buy it than hold a bag and be negative. Okay. So support level 26 cents, resistance 34 cents. Until we get some more movement, we have to really just wait on our hands for a mullet. Let's go to DWAC, Digital World Acquisition, ticker symbol DWAC. We know after he announced that he was going to run, buy the rumors, sell the news, and you can see why it's just pulling down heavy. This is also a reason why these levels are important because support levels kept breaking, right? I had support levels up here. They kept breaking, and that was a sign for me not to buy. Now look at DWAC literally crashing. Is down over 30% within three days. This is why, you, one, you never want to miss a video. Two, you want to turn your post notifications so you never miss a video. Three, you want to pay attention to the support levels, resistance levels, and levels I give you guys because it can help a lot. So it's breaking that support at the $20 range that I gave you guys, right? Came up, tried the held here, and just broke down. So it's losing all of its pressure. So only support now. We're going to go down to about 19. I'm actually put it around. Now we'll put it at 19. Okay, we can put it at 19. If 19 breaks, then we're just going to have to keep going down and down on support levels until we find the number one thing that we're looking for is support. If we don't have support in these areas, can't really play anything because it's probably just going to go down to where it came from around $17 or so. And we don't want to be holding a bag, especially not right now. Resistance level is going to go down to about $22, so let's move that down too. And these are the new levels I'm looking out for um, DWAC. I am looking to play it, but one, you don't wanna catch a falling knife, right? And you wanna wait for a clear entry and clear exit. So those are the two levels I'm kinda of looking out for DWAC. Next one we're gonna go over is APE, ticker symbol APE. Now, make sure you guys join the team. It's the first link in that description. You get all my buys and sells, teach you guys how to trade, uh, we sold about 30% of our coin put options for about a 37% gain. We sold 25% of our Tesla put options for a 13% gain. Sold 25% of our SQQ shares for a 6% gain. And then we also did a scalp today. I've been scalping almost every day. So if you want to get scalps, make sure you join. Uh, whenever I send it out, I send the month, the strike, the price that I pay, where I'm looking to exit, what type of play it is. Sold 100% of those. Hit my target, 83 for a 20% gain. Target was hit, okay? So that was a scalp we did today, about three minute scalp. We got 20% and then those some more plays we sold today. We're going to do some more plays. Like I said, you get all my plays. And more importantly, I teach you guys how to trade in these markets, entries, exits, support levels. How do I find the buying levels, resistance levels? What's the difference between buying pressure, buying pressure confirmation, and all the information you need. It all starts with that first link in the description. Now, do not remember, you can use code 10 Black Friday. 10 Black Friday. Friday that gives you 10% off your first month or 10% off your first year if you pay for the yearly. You also get two months free when you pay for the year. So you'll save money actually paying for the year. Okay. 10 Black Friday. That's your 10 uh that's your um uh what is it? Black Friday discount code and this will end next Friday. Okay, so 10 Black Friday, don't forget to use that. Ape, ticker symbol APE. It broke this buying level here, right? And then it started to drop down. So what does that mean? That's it. No buying level, no support level. The only level I'm looking at now, I would need price to break $1.60 for me to be interested in playing it. If it doesn't break this level, I won't be interested. So watch this level. If this level changes, 
then I will let you guys know. But for now, it needs to break a dollar and sixty for me to even be interested in playing it. If not, it's a no go for me, and that's pretty much it on eight. Next one is Baba. Baba actually came out with some decent earnings. They beat on EPS. They actually came low on revenue, and they had a big push up today, right? Very big push up. I'm pretty sure they had um some decent. Let me see. Nope, they really didn't have any uh high probable types of scalps in here. It kind of just shot up. So don't really chase that. It was no need to. Um, and now it's pushing up a lot. But uh, something on Baba. Let me write out the ticker symbol. This is Alibaba, by the way. I feel like there could be a good long-term play on here on Alibaba as it's literally been beaten down. Look at this. It's been beaten down almost to its all-time lows below 50 something $60, which we actually might to get there. Okay, we might get there. I am looking for some put options potentially. But I kind of want to wait till um, a couple more things uh, confirm. But beaten down. So let's go to Baba. A couple things I'm looking at. I am looking to get put options, but I'll probably wait till we get selling pressure confirmation first. We're not having that right now. And I'm looking for support at about $82 because I do want to play the upside and I want to play the downside. But I want to see where it holds support at. It is at high prices right now. So we don't want to be trying to chase price right now, which currently it is kind of chasing price. We don't have any real pull down. Like, let me go over here. Like, say how it was shooting up here. It gave you pull down to enter. It shot up here. It gave you pull down to enter. It shot up again. Pull down to enter. Shot up again. Pull down to enter. Shot up. Okay. So we rather just be patient for that pull down. We might see a run, something like this, over here. Okay. That's what we might see on Baba. I think. Um, I think we probably will see that the next earnings is until February. So we have some good months to kind of play in there. That's why I say just make sure you join the team. You get all my buys and sales. I teach you guys how to trade. And you also get private live streams every day. The market's open. It's the first thing in the description. Don't forget to use 10 Black Friday. You get 10% off your first month or 10% off your first year. And that code will end next Friday. Okay. So this is what I'm looking out for, Baba. Let's watch that support level about 82. I think a potential play will occur. But we just got to see where support is going to build out first. So 82, watch that on Baba. And then let's go over BBIG. So BBIG, Vinco Ventures, right? Ever since it came back on the market, it had that big push up. And then it kind of just died down after that, right? So this is a stock that moves off of news, moves off momentum. You have to know what type of stock you're playing. That is this stock. So if there's no news, this is what you're going to see, okay? So we can probably prepare. I think there is some upcoming news that I'll let you guys know probably in the next video. Um, make sure you guys smash the like button and get the video over 100 likes. But there might be some type of news coming out on BBIG that might have it on that next push. But the key thing is, look at the support level I had at 74 cents. It actually held as a support today. Okay. Tried to go a little below it. Buying pressure came right back above it, meaning support is being held at 74 cents. So for now, we have 74 cents and 80 cents as a resistance. This is it. Okay. We still need some type of breakage, I believe, on the upside, either a break or a break for support. And then that would be one of my signs to buy to see it go to higher prices, maybe to around like 90 cents or so. So 80 to 90, that's about a 10, 12 percent gain. I will take that. I think that's the next high probable play on BBIG. But for now, kind of watch these levels. We'll see how it moves. Smash the like button, subscribe. Thank you guys for being here. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one.